Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Esteem Face Time with Leaders and Initiative by World Development Corporation. I am Taneol at World Development Corporation. Face Time with Leaders is a platform for industry titans to come together to share their knowledge, ideas, thoughts, and best practices with one another, as well as with upcoming future leaders. In a nutshell, we attempt to encapsulate the multi-decadal learnings of all. All our industry stalwarts. We also hope that by conducting these FaceTime with Leader interviews, we can bring together a global community of eminent personalities. By bringing together such visionaries on one platform, we hope to play a part in inspiring the lives of other leaders. Great learnings from great leaders undoubtedly assist everyone by identifying, nurturing, and using the trade secrets that have already proven a success formula for so many. And this is what we aim for with these sessions by making them a gathering of industry stalwarts. And a knowledge sharing community. We have one such industry magnate on FaceTime with leaders with us today, Mr. Yogesh Kumar. He has nearly two decades of experience in environment, health and safety, and fire and facility management. With expertise in creative problem solving and strategic planning, Yogesh Kumar has consistently excelled in driving organizational safety and sustainability initiatives. He is currently working as an associate director EHS at Jubilant Generix Limited, where he focuses on driving a safety culture and enhancing operational efficiency. His expertise lie in, lies in conducting training programs, implementing safety systems, managing regulatory compliance, and promoting a holistic safety approach across the organization. We welcome you on the show, sir. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity on this platform. Our pleasure, sir. Sir, our first question is, could you let our viewers know in brief about your career journey so far? Yeah. In 2004, I began my career as a safety officer in Purdue Global Limited. Right. After that, I joined uh, Samsung India Electronics and I worked there for 14 years and learned many global platform of safety culture. After that, I joined uh, Dr. Reddy as a cluster EHS head. Then I learned all the pharmaceutical EHS safety practices. Then I joined, uh, currently I am as a SSA director in Jubilant Generous Limited as an EHS head. Perfect. Um, sir, have you ever had an opportunity to, to make groundbreaking changes that led to better safety metrics? And if yes, could you please share some? Right. So in my uh, career path, uh, I did in every industry, like mm -hmm. in Samsung, there are many EHS projects, like it's India uh, largest manufacturing unit in Noida. So there are many uh, projects out there and in which the global uh, constructor uh, are there, vendors are there, in which we had learned and we had collaborate and bring at uh, a single platform and we had built uh, like uh, before the given timeline by the management. Second one that uh, in uh, Dr. Reddy, I learned like I learned and I uh, collaborate and implement the My Safety Index culture in which all the employee from top management to the ground level everyone has to follow all the safety practices given by the management third thing is the in in our uh, jubilant generation like in zone ownership concept like everyone has own the safety safety is not a responsibility of only the safety officer it's a responsibility for everyone so i had implemented the zone ownership concept there and in uh, samsung we got national safety award five times Coming to Dr. Eddie Limited, I got uh, individual OHS leader award from American Society of Safety Professionals. Coming to our uh, Jubilant Generix, we got two awards like uh, Environment Excellence Award and uh, OHS leader award from Apex India Limited in 2023. This is oh. the brief summary. Um, so what according to you are the most indispensable qualities of any professional? See, uh, Thing is, this uh, like uh, we have to be like in uh, soft skill and the technical skill both, mm. because if the technical skill is there and we don't have the soft skill, then it will be a great uh, like uh, means uh, shortening the things and uh, we will not do hundred percent right mm. first. 
second thing is that effective communication effective communication and uh, to everyone from top to bottom right third thing is the adaptability uh, is the another vital quality which we need to implement Th fourth is the ethical behavior right and the integrity if we do and if we own the things we have to uh, like uh, do all the things 100% if we we'll do ethically like positive attitude and the willingness to learn if you don't know then if if you are eager to learn then definitely you will learn and you will do the things and deliver the things on time like we did in samsung like i did like from uh, like fmcg i had gone to the pharmaceutical company so i had learned there and i had implemented everything better than the other safety each is persons so as someone honed in ehs and fire and facility management do you believe there is a logical connection between your existing and new roles definitely i have absolutely believe that there is a logical connection in my existing and new role like in my previous roles in ehs and fire management i developed a deep understanding in safety protocol risk assessment and emergency response right so these skills are highly transferable to the facility management while ensuring the safety and well-being of the occupant uh, is the top priority for any industry additionally my experience in ehs given me the insights like into the regulatory compliance so in each and every industry the compliance is the top most priority right so it's a like uh, all the standard we need to follow all the compliance in related to environment health safety fire factory everything we need to follow so like uh, i manage a well prepared to prevail a respond of the fire incidents safety incident and 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 uh, we have minimized the safety incident across all the three industries Sir, as an ESG and corporate governance expert, what values do you offer to the corporate world? Like I offer a commitment to the ethical conduct and the integrity, and the corporate governance upholding the high eth ethical standard is a paramount, right? So I emphasize the importance of the transparency, accountability, and the fairness in all the corporate decision and the action. So greenwashing will not do. we we need to implement all the things ethically transparently right secondly like i provide a deep understanding in esg principles also like i am well versed in ehs esg and the impact business and their stakeholders so moreover i bring a strategic thinking and forward looking vision to a corporate world so i help the companies to integrate the esg consideration into their long term strategy goals kpis to fulfill the compliance and the requirement and in addition to that my expertise extend to the stakeholder engagement and the importance of the addressing a stake stakeholder concern i contribute to the uh, building trust and enhancing the company reputation to inculcate and to implement all the things related to the esg Sir, what are some of the most remarkable changes you have seen in your field with changes in technology, and what changes do you expect to see with the advent of IoT, AI, ML, blockchain, and Web three point zero, other technologies? Right, and I have uh, certainly witnessed some of the truly remarkable changes in my field driven by the advancement, right, mm -hmm. in the field of technology. So these changes have not only transformed the way. that we operated but also opened up a new possibility environment health and safety compliance part coming to the like one of the most significant law nowadays the ai so if we will implement the things like from the dashboard to the ai then it it will be a great change and we will uh, comply all the things and at a real time right then coming to the iot like internet of things has been also a particularly impactful device such as in, uh, like if we will put the environmental sensors variable and enable the monitor condition in real time which makes it easier to detect everything in a real time right so it is also a very good platform 
coming to the machine learning also played a very crucial role like uh, it can give the forecast the potential safety concern issues in advance like if you were talk about the blockchain technology has introduced a greater transparency right so it uh, it uh, traceable and supply chains especially in industries where the raw material sources and the condition are very crucial so it has also been used to verify the authenticity of the certification and the compliance record for the verification of the compliance coming to the data analysis has also become a very important and the for the ehs management so we can now process and make the sense of the vast amounts of data in a very limited time right to decide whether to go for dash or not and and uh, this will also a, a give a like uh, we will comply all the things on time and allowing the targeted safety intervention right so we are building a community here of industry magnets the move is meant for cross pollination of knowledge and building a knowledge sharing community of corporate giants and industry experts what are your thoughts about this initiative taken by mr zishan patan mr hemal mehta and the whole world development corporation team see i am truly excited about the initiative led by mr patan and mr mehta and the entire world development corporation team who had built the community of industry magnets like us so this is a very good concept of creating a platform for the cross pollination of knowledge and for sharing knowledge sharing community among the corporate giants and the industry expert is like promising and today also like uh, if you see then they are advertising and they are doing like they are generating the things which is the demand of our uh, like uh, all the corporates how to get how to go for the esg how to do the independent director course so they are they are good platform to learn the knowledge sharing and mm -hmm. they are giving a very uh, expert advice how to take up and taking own and doing all the expertise to the, for the next generation also and it's a very uh, like uh, collaboration of the corporate giant and uh, uh, like industry expert can lead the ground breaking solutions also um great sir it was fantastic conversing with you and i'm confident that your insights will greatly inspire future leaders thank you so much for joining us today and wish you the best for future endeavors moreover trust that this initiative by directors institute has unquestionably expanded the participants understanding and enriched their minds thank you thank sir thank you thank you very much thank you thank you sir